Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is my January BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm so excited to test these products out. So I did a full face demoing all the products that came in the box. Told you what I liked, what I didn't like. So yeah, if you want to see that, then let's just get right into this. So like always, the BoxyCharm came with a little card. And this month it says Rock 2018. So... That's what I plan on doing, and I hope you guys do too. So that's really cute. And then it also comes with this little card that just has the same wording, Rock 2018. And then on the back it says, The Dr. Brandt Pours No More, and then it just has all of the ingredients. So that's a nice little touch. So the first thing that I see in the box is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So it looks like this. So I'm going to first start by prepping my skin with this Mario Badescu spray. I always use this to prep my skin before any makeup application. So this is not included in the BoxyCharm. This is just my ritual. So I am going to try out this primer. Um, I do have oily skin if you are new, so I don't know how well this primer is going to work with me because it is a luminizing primer. It has a strong scent. It just kind of smells like skincare products. I don't know. There's no like distinct smell. It just smells like skincare. <laughs> and it's more of like a lotion consistency, so that's really nice. I actually like primers like this consistency. I'm just gonna press some of it into my skin just because that's what I've been doing lately. I don't think it made my skin look too shiny or too dewy to the point like it's gonna enhance my texture and enhance my oil. And that primer retails for... Oh my, my neck just kinked. Did anyone else see that? <gasps> that was creepy. Oh my god. So that primer retails for $38 so that is a huge steal. That is awesome. I need to shut that door. The next thing in the box is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. So the packaging looks like this. It's really just an It Cosmetics basic packaging. And the shade is Universal Taupe. Um, okay. Aw, uh, this is cute. There's a little note on the inside right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says, you are beautiful, you are it. XOXO Jamie, maybe? So the pencil looks like this. It's really cute, really sleek packaging, nothing too crazy about it, which I really enjoy. So I am going to use this. I'm going to go do my face portion, like my foundation, concealer, bake, and then we'll get to brows in a second. So now let's try out this brow pencil. I'm very excited. I hope this is the right shade for me, and I hope... This is just a good formula because I don't want my brows to look ugly, you know what I mean? Who wants their brows to look ugly? So it does have a spoolie, which that's really nice. So I'm just going to comb through my brows really quickly and like shape them. This is like an oval shape. It's not like a tiny circle and it's not like that kind of like triangle shape that um, like the brow definer from Anastasia and what's the one from Benefit? I forgot what that's called, but like, it's like a triangle, I guess. This one's like a legit oval. Honestly, that pencil really wasn't that bad. It was just a little tricky to get like a precise line, but I just cleaned it up with concealer and it worked fine. I honestly think the color is perfect for my hair. It really matches like my dark roots a lot. So I'm honestly pretty impressed with this. And that eyebrow pencil retails for $24. So once again, total steal. Next up, I see this Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. And this is a cheek palette. So it has three different colors in it. The packaging looks like this. It's just really cute, sleek white packaging. Wow, can I talk or not? And then these are the three colors. So like this is like a bronzer, a highlighter, and then a blush. I'm not sure if all of these have shimmer in them. They look like it. So I just don't like shimmery bronzers or shimmery blushes. But I will test this out for you guys to see if it's really worth it. So... I'm just going to take my big bronzing brush and just dip into this dark shade. Oh, I'm nervous. It looks like it's like, I don't know, I thought it was going to be really powdery, but they're like pressed, 
They kind of feel like creams in a way. Right, this isn't cream, right? It doesn't say. Yeah, it says they're powders, but they feel like creams because there's not like a lot of fallout. But I feel like I have a ton on my brush, so oh my goodness. It's kind of blotchy. I don't know. Like, do you see that? Like, right here, it's really light, and then it's dark. It does have a little bit of a sheen, but it's not really bad, which I can deal with that. I thought it was going to be, like, straight shimmer, and I was like, oh, no way. Wow, we're going to be really bronzed today. This is a really dark bronzer. It's not emphasizing my texture either, so I'm actually really happy with this. I actually love this color. This color is actually going to look stunning in the summer with like a little bit of tan going on. Oh, it's like a bronzy color with a little bit of a red undertone in it. So, oh, I love it. So now I'm going to dip into this pink shade and use this as my blush. And I actually really like the consistencies of this. So the pink one is a little more powdery and has a little bit more kick up than the bronzer. But, I mean, it's not even anything crazy. These are such, like, creamy powders. I'm, like, obsessed with them. Wow, that is such a cute blush color. <gasps> I'm, like, obsessed right now. So now I'm going to dip in to that lightest shade in the middle and use that as my highlighter. Yes! 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 And that palette retails for $34. I 100% say that it's totally worth the money because I'm obsessed. You guys will definitely see me using this in future tutorials because I love this. Every single shade just looks so pretty. And it's more of like a natural type of powder because it's not like totally powdery. So it's just adding more powder on top of your face. It's more of like a cream powder in a way, but it acts as a powder, but it doesn't look powdery on your face. Does that make any sense? I'm sorry if I didn't. <laughs> and the next product I see is this Crown Pro Glam Metals palette. So this is an eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all shimmers in this palette, but unfortunately, when I was opening the products up, I opened this up and one of my shades was completely shattered. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's that dark green over there. So I'm kind of bummed about that. And this palette retails for $25. So this is not going to be in any way a tutorial. It's just kind of like testing out the shadows just to see if they're really worth the $25 or not. See which ones are duds. See which ones aren't. If they're all duds. If they're all not. So... I think first, they're all really shimmery except for this, oh, this shade is getting all over me, this black metal shade right here, so, ooh, okay, I'm gonna go in with Glam Rock first, there we go, up close and personal now. that color blended really nicely it is a shimmer so necessarily I don't put shimmers in my crease but we'll just roll with it <laughs> um, next shade I think I'm gonna go in with is the wicked this is just like a deeper plum shade and this is gonna go on my outer corner <music> I think I'm going to go in with, I need a different brush, Wild Thing, and I'm going to put this above that first shade, just 
to add some red to the look. And then for all over my lid, I think I'm going to take Rebel. So this is like the copper orange in the middle. This is really speaking to me. And then in the inner, inner corner part of the lid, I'm going to pop on pop rock. Clearly, as you can see, there's a ton of fallout with this palette, like a ton of fallout, but I'm glad it just wipes away. Okay, I don't know where my camera shut off. It kind of just shut off on me. So I was just showing you guys the last product in the box. And it's a Girlactic lipstick. It's a matte liquid lipstick. And the shade looks like this. This is probably the best formula of a liquid lipstick that I've ever tried. I honestly need to go pick up like every shade they have. Because it's such a like liquidy formula so it just glides on your lips but it dries down so quickly but it does not feel drying whatsoever so I'm honestly really impressed <laughs> right now and I love this color not with these eyes but I love this color alone like if you just go like this it's a pretty color isn't it and this retails for $23 oh my goodness I'm obsessed all right and this is the thinnest thinnest <laughs> And this is the completed look. So honestly, I'm really impressed by everything in the box this month. I love the primer. I love the brow pencil. I think my brows look pretty good today. I love this Pure Palette. Love it. So obsessed with this. The eyeshadows are very pigmented and they're really pretty. Just I recommend maybe doing a matte. I would do just a matte shade in the crease and then like the shimmer in the center to make it a little more prettier just because we're looking a little crazy right now and I'm very impressed with that Girlactic lipstick so the overall total of this month's BoxyCharm is $144 that is insane that is so much money for only paying what $21 a month I hope you guys enjoyed this month's BoxyCharm unboxing video by the way I didn't upload my December BoxyCharm because I never received it so yeah, I think it got sent to my house in Buffalo and then just people were saying that it never came, but I have a tracking number that says it did, so I just kind of gave up with that because it was not worth the hassle, honestly, like people can lie, people can do whatever they want, so I emailed back to her and they haven't gotten back to me yet, so it's kind of just like whatever. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join my S squad. I would really appreciate it. And definitely give this video a thumbs up to help me out. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.